Welcome to another Coverings. Uh, this is Coverings 2024 and Tile of Spain's Showstoppers. It's one of my favorite segments because I get to really get the same understanding and love that I have for our Spanish companies out to the world. And today I'm with one of my absolute favorites, Adex. And I'm talking to Jim here at Adex. Jim, welcome. Right. Thank Thanks you very Ryan. much. Thanks so much. So Adex is a very unique company that, that has so much history that that is in line with the history of, of Spanish ceramics, right? Sir. Sure. So one of the things that we see that's really revolutionizing this industry is, is the changes that are happening in digital decoration techniques and it's mm. something that the whole industry is so excited about. Sure. Tell me how ADEX is excited about digital decoration. Well, well there, in the last uh, 50, 20 years up to now, there's been an absolute explosion in amazing products, aesthetics, textures that are being achieved through digital means, yeah. digital printing. At ADEX, we have chosen not to engage in that in favor of traditional tile making methods. Uh, our company is steeped in tradition, so we try our best to make the most beautiful products by pushing the boundaries of those traditional methods with crackle glazes, very sophisticated textures, tones. And so this is a, a love that we have that our customers appreciate. They can see ADEX, they see the material, they see the essence of those those unique differences that we have, and they rely upon us for that. So in, there, in a factory like the ADEX USA, ADEX factory, there's magic that happens over yeah. generations that really can't be comprehended by digital printing. Right. Those things are due to a long-term process of tribal knowledge and passing on to gener from one generation to the next. Yeah. So in summary, we try our best to serve the market by making the most beautiful products we can within our, you know, pushing the boundaries of our capabilities. Yeah, no, and, and it's funny, it's ironic that the, the sort of digital decoration techniques are trying so hard to get the, the kind of spontaneity and imperfect feel that we get from a manual artisanal process. And why it's so exciting right now is, is we're getting almost to the, the sure. ability, but being able to have this beautiful artisanship uh, is, is something that I'm so glad that Adex is keeping alive. Well, the there, reality is we use cutting edge technology to, to run our systems, yeah. to be efficient, to, to all the business systems, and even for sustainability, there are, are cutting edge machinery and processes. That was my next point. And, and sustainability really is the lifeblood of the Spanish industry. It's something that is always the top of mind thing before we look at anything else. So tell me a little bit about Adex and, and the sustainability story and what kind of implementation you're doing. Well, as a generational company, it's in the lifeblood of Adex to pass things along and preserve things. Yeah. Uh, not only do we use a high degree of recycled content in our material, we also are ISO 14001 certified, okay. which is a holistic approach to sustainability meaning that we have solar panels, we use heat recuperation to save gas, we also have many process to, processes to reduce the waste in general, and then that transcends into a friendly environment for employees, customers, vendors, so that we can try to have those generational relationships with those entities in order to preserve the company and see it through to the next generation. Yeah, for sure, and that, that's, that's wonderful to see now. The last kind of point that I wanted to uh, to bring up, I've lost it. You know what I'm going to be asking you. What, what I think are we... so. I think so. Uh, well, it's kind of this. It's actually all one big question and answer, and, re and it's about a historic factory, ADEX USA. We uh, the, our our uh, history is steeped in tradition. Yeah. There are rich traditional values that we share. We're a small company. Yeah. That we're surprisingly small. And it's so the family can manage it well yeah. and have control of the quality so that we can ensure that customers get that traditional historic look. Uh, we try to, of course, make it good for the times, but there is a signature aesthetic that our customers have grown to expect from us. Yeah. And we're going to preserve that and retain that as much as possible with those uh, traditional methods. 
Yeah, and I, and I love seeing, so there's there's a marriage of modern glazes and fritz being used sure. on traditional characteristics. And, and the only way that you get that is, is from having multi-generations of history uh, and experience to draw upon. One last little point is that not only the glaze techniques, which are advanced using those traditional methods, there is a dedication to stocking trim pieces, moldings, and other elements that preserve timeless uh, ceramic elements, you know, either from a remodel standpoint, and oftentimes there's periods where those trends ebb and flow, where okay, all, all of a sudden baseboards are in, in, in vogue, and here we are to yep. serve that. So thank you very much. Great speaking with you. Yeah, great and speaking thanks, with you. thanks so much for the opportunity. Thanks, Jim.